This is my review of the Intermatic electric water heater timer. Uh, as you can see, I have installed to my electric hot water heater over here. Um, I had it, and I'm gonna. I'm selling this house actually, but I wanted to make a review before uh, we move out to a bigger and better house because um, this thing has served me well for the past couple years. I've been here. I've had it installed for about seven years. And uh, it's really simple. It's just a mechanical timer. And uh, has an on and off switch right here on the right. And you just do all the wiring in here. I did the wiring myself. Uh, wasn't that hard. It just comes from the, the 240 volts, actually. I'm sorry. It comes from the 240 volts in that box. I did some conduit because we had some hanging wire. So you want to make sure that you have no hanging wires. You have to support it on something. And if not, you have to use conduit. Uh, really simple. Just cut a piece of straight pipe. More than 90 degree angle coupler. Had it go in here. And then the directions tell you right here. What's a load. And what's the lines. So if I open this up. I'll show you how I wired it. If I can. On the left side. You'll see that there's white and black. The uh, white wires go in the middle. The hot black one comes on the left side. And then, eventually, on this right side, which again, I used conduit because it's hanging wire. Just a straight pipe with a 90 degree coupler coming down to the electric water heater. Which, you know, again, needs conduit the whole way because this is going to be hanging out if you don't. Okay, but I only used all prefab stuff. So, like, even this, I didn't use a pipe bender. I just bought a uh, 90 degree curved piece and put it in. And, uh, yeah, it's held up great. Um, saved me tons of money. But anyways, this is the wire coming out of the, the electric water heater. Uh, the black wire goes to the right. And, again, the white wire from it goes on the left. You notice that I have a lot of wire left over. I did that so I made sure that I had enough coming from the electric water heater. But, yeah, the way it's controlled is they have these little pins right there and there. Uh, one is a gold color, which I can't really show from this light, but one's silver. The gold one's on top, and the silver one's on the bottom. Um, the, sil the gold one, which is on top, is the one that starts the water heater, and the silver one is the one that turns it off. And it also has a manual override. So if you want to stop the timer, you're going on vacation, you just take the wheel and you pull it out. And it'll stop the clock from turning, but you'll have to reset it when you get back. And again, there's always a manual on-off. Uh, if you notice, I don't keep mine on long. I keep it on maybe for uh, two and a half hours out of the day. It saves me tons of money. Uh, average electric bill, and this is with uh, fish tanks, which take up a lot of energy is around a little bit over a hundred bucks a month, which isn't that bad. Uh, when I didn't have the fish tanks, I was paying anywhere from 70 something dollars a month to about 90 something in the summer because of air conditioning. So a uh, great deal with this too, is it has all the directions right here on how to operate it. So if you lose the manual, which I don't, I just put it in my electric water heater so that the future owners will actually be able to see how to do the uh, water heater time switch. And I have leftover uh, gold and silver timer on and off pieces. They just slide right in, by the way. That's all they do. There's little notches that you slide them in. But, uh, yeah, that, that's what this thing is basically all about. Sorry about the focus. And uh, if you don't want anything to be peeking out or hiding, you could just close this. I don't know if I could do it one-handed, but you just push this knob in. It also has a hole where you can lock it with little locks so no one touches it. And it has a little button access for the on-off switch right there. So, yeah, I've had nothing but success with it. Um, I will say that the first one blew out, though. So, uh, I think I just got a dud because, again, this one's been running for about seven years. The other one lasted a couple months. And I was kind of disappointed, but... You know, I said, let me try it again, and I, I did. I just got a doozy before. So um, I haven't seen a lot of people post reviews of problems with it. And, uh, again, 
if you do decide to install this yourself, one, they have the directions there, but two, you're dealing with a lot of voltage here. This is 240 volts going into uh, the electric water heater. So make sure that you turn off that circuit breaker or, or uh, you know, pull out the old screw type fuse before you start doing wiring on this. And last but not least, make sure you use conduit with your wire if it's hanging out and it's not supported by a piece of wood or the wall or anything like that. So, and that completes my review of the Intermatic Electric Water Heater Timer.